This morning, two fires in Youngstown are under investigation, both from many while, while many of you were sleeping. The first broke out around 10 last night on the south side on West Ellison Avenue. Officials tell First News no one was living here. This, though, is the same home where Corey Jennings, Jamal Burley, and Adrian Brown were shot and killed in December. Jennings' mom says she was shocked when she learned about the fire. I was a little stunned as I walked my way up, and then uh, the policeman talked to me a little bit and got my information because they still have to investigate to see what caused the fire because the doors was locked and the alarm was on. The alarm company called me. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. All new this morning, Youngstown firefighters called to yet another vacant house fire overnight. This one happened on Atkinson Avenue on the city's east side around 4 this morning. The back of the house had the most damage. Fire officials tell First News the cause of this fire is also still under investigation. So something First News is going to be keeping a close eye on.